Rechte organom pravoporiadka da ne prostije. No, I did not give any kind of such instructions. And the instructions which exist for the law enforcement officers are very simple. They should not use any kind of force against peaceful, and I would like to stress this peaceful demonstrants. They also have not to allow anyone to capture any administrative buildings. Also, they have to use the means which are foreseen by the law and which can be used according to the current legislation in case there is a threat to the life of the law enforcement officers. Here, I mean, uh, uh, tear gas, shields, and other kind of equipment. I did not give any other special kind of instructions. Your president has now met three opposition leaders. Uh, what chance do you think that there is that conciliation and negotiation can somehow defuse this potentially tragic situation for your country? Встреча прошла, на мой взгляд, достаточно полезная. Uh, I guess that this meeting was quite fruitful and useful and to, as far as I know, some agreements can be made uh, after, this meet after this meeting with the President. Uh, but here I would like the leaders of the opposition not to use the language of ultimatums because we know very well the results of the sociology and we know how much is, uh, to what extent are the opposition leaders supported by the society of Ukraine. We have a President who was democratically elected at the Democratic Critical elections. What do you say to Sergei Lavrov, the Russian foreign minister, who said the situation in your country is now out of control? Первое, что я хотел бы сказать, ситуация в Киеве находится под абсолютным контролем. Второе. First of all, I would like to say that the situation in Kiev is absolutely controllable. Secondly, the country in general, the whole of Ukraine is working and operating in an absolutely normal way. All those events we are now talking about are happening just in the heart of Kiev, in the government quarter of the city, and that is it. All the rest of the country and even rest of the city is absolutely calm. So here I disagree with Mr. Lavrov.